Hello, okay, 12 students. Welcome to another accounting video. Today, we'll be doing an introduction to the income statement for companies. So, there's no not much of a difference between an income statement for companies and an, 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 an income statement which you guys did in grade 10 and 11. It's just that for companies, there are certain things that we are now adding. There are certain accounts, new accounts that we are now adding. For example, dividends, tax, you see? So there's not that much of a difference. So just to remind you, you know, every time you are constructing an income statement, you must start with the name. Or every time you contact, you are, you know, constructing a financial statement, you must start with the name of the financial statement. That's one of the basic goals of accounting. Even when you further your studies in accounting, you realize. So, let's say we are dealing with the company ABC Limited, right? So, the first thing you say is income statement. statement of ABC limited for the year and that 28 February 2020 so this is important you must include the date there and actually um and you must also include the name of the company and the name of the statement that's very much important right then you know for your income statement the first thing that's going to start is sales and cost of sales then followed by your gross profit this this is sales and cost of sales are actually included especially when especially if the company is a retailer it's 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 the company that's involved in selling goods or selling anything if it was a service company a company that's offering services we're not going to include the sales cost of sales we're going to start with operating income which will include fees income meaning there won't be any cost of sales or sales because it's a service company but for the purpose of this subject, you will always deal with companies that are selling inventory trading stock. Now, the cost profit, right? And you know that the cost of sales, cost profit is equal to sales minus cost of sales, right? Then you'll get your cost profit here, cost profit amount, right? And then you'll be having other operating income and the other operating income it's just obvious that you will include any income that the business or the company receives such as rent income and so many more other incomes right and then you will get your total figure for other operating income right uh, after other operating income you get operating expenses operating expenses so here under operating expenses you'll be having your wages and other expenses a new expense that you will encounter is an expense called director's wages right this is a new expense this is what's been added for companies director's wages that's a new expense that 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 you ex that you must expect then then in order for you to get operating profit You would have said other operating income minus operating expenses right then you'd get your operating profit meaning the total for other operating expenses since it's an expense it's going out it's leaving the business 
mean you're going to say this minus this you get this right please note i did not include dividends do not include do not include dividends under operating expenses dividends are not part of operating expenses do not include dividends because dividends are not part of operating expenses even here under other operating income i did not include retained income or shareholders capital they do not form part of part of the income statement they are just special accounts on the side they are equity accounts then after getting operating profit you'll be having your interest income right and then which will give you your profit before interest expense right give you a profit before interest expense let me just do this oh no sorry interest income will give you your profit before in-tax expense interest expense then you'll be having your interest expense which will give you your net profit before tax this is a new concept guys and remember interest expense is an expense in order to get net profit before interest tax before tax you would have to say profit before interest expense subtract interest expense right to get this figure here to get this figure now this is net profit before tax then you'll have income tax remember it's the tax since i told you that companies are seen as a separate legal entity we are going to have tax charged on them just like individuals just like natural person right just like natural persons and tax will decrease our net profit so this means that this income tax will be a percentage it is a percentage of the net profit before tax right it's a percentage of the net profit before tax that's the income tax Will be given that percentage but normally uh, when you go to tertiary level it becomes a fixed percentage which is 28 percent but but then just look at the question what the question says it will guide you then this simply means that this subtract this will give you not profit after tax and this will be your net profit so that's all new concepts that you have to be be aware of is this the income tax and the director switches those are the new concepts that you have to be aware of otherwise the rest of the stuff are easy they are just stuff that you did when you were doing grade 10 and grade 11 okay guys see you on another video thank you